Hello everybody, Mr. Horgan here. First off, I'd like to correct a mistake that Money7373 made on the pricing game recap from yesterday, which was Friday, May 25th, 2012. By the way, I do thank him for doing the recap. Uh, it was in Bargain Game he made his mistake. He mentioned that the bargain price of the motor scooter was 766 but it was actually 786 and the actual retail price was 1586 and so she won both prizes, Margarita, for a total of $3,635. Now, of course, nothing personal to Money 7373, but for that mistake, And I would just like to specify that the price of the refrigerator in danger price yesterday was $3,499 and the pool table was $1,630. Now, Money7373 did mention Michael being one of the contestants who became one of the MVPs. I also would like to name Margarita and Alexandra the MVPs of the prices right for their pricing game wins yesterday. And Danielle and Angela are the contestant recognition contestants. So now I move to the acknowledgement section that Ben 72047 sent to me yesterday after Money 7373 did the recap. But for him, in Money Game, for this season, El Cheapo 2, Contestant 1. Danielle also had a shirt that says, and he quotes, We love, with a picture of Mr. Drew in a bow tie, what he used to wear prior to his shoulder surgery. In Bargain Game, first time since its return that we got the game on a winning streak. The last time Bargain Game had a winning streak was from October 28, 2008 through December 5, 2008. The longest winning streak in the carry era currently is from June 13 to October 29, 2007. Well, June 13, Bob Barker was still hosting TPIR. Bunch of bunch, the losing streak is now, oh my goodness, 90. Now or then, May 2002, that was what then was. That was 10 years ago to this month, obviously. And Larry was one of the first four contestants, and he never got out of contestant's row. His shirt had Drew's face from the logo of the Drew Carey show back in the day, and only Manuel and Rachel were present. Getting back to bargain games for a minute, I would like to acknowledge a fact that Sports Guy 528 made on my profile eight days ago, and that was Bargain Game getting its first win under the new refurbishment, and it got its second win yesterday. So now I'd like to point out that Bargain Game is now 2-1 and one ever since its return. And I got one more acknowledgement fact. This is for my 264 shirt. The last two shows, Thursday and Friday, had a combined winning percentage of 67% when you rounded off to the nearest whole number. So there you go. Speaking of I'm 264 shirt, I do want to give a little shout out to him um, for clearing up on, well not really clearing up, he was informing me that about Neil Rocks 87 doing the price game recap the next time Make Your Move was played and he did that back on May 18th. Once again, a really good job by Neil Rocks 87. And, um, yeah, Neil Rocks 87 mentioned that, um, if Make Your Move was played back on Monday, he'd recap it again, but he did not. Um, I'm 264 sure pointed out to me that he was sending me a message, well, a comment on one of my videos that the very next time Make Your Move was played, not the next two plays. But, if New York City 7 wants to do the recap the next time Make Your Move is played, he could, like, message me that he would like to volunteer. But, if he chooses not to do the price game recap again the next time Make Your Move is played, and if he feels that just that one time he really wanted to 
do that recap with make your move that I actually learned to, that's fine. I can do make your move once again in the price game recap. As far as money 7373 goes, seeing as he got to recap cliffhangers, bonkers, and punch a bunch, uh, it seems like the next time those three price games are played, I will more than likely recap them. And finally, just getting back to Neil Rock 87. Just to remind you all that next time Magic Number gets played, he would like to do the recap, and I will allow him to do so. So, um, this upcoming Monday is Memorial Day, it's the Parents and Teen Driver Special. Now, there is a little bit of a possibility that I may not be able to do the recap that day because my cousin's coming over. But Sports Guy 529, Sports Guy 528, and I were talking about the possibility of rap race being played. So I don't mind do doing double duty on Tuesday if my cousin is staying. So this is what we could, what Sports Guy 529 worked out. If rap race does get played on Monday, I will only recap the five pricing games that were played on that day, and Sports Guy 528 will do the result for Rapids. Now, he, again, he asked me to do a recap for him on his birthday, and that will be his birthday present, the pricing game recap with the five out of the six. But if Rapids is not played, I do the whole recap. That simple. Alright. Next up will be a retro pricing game recap from June 11th, 1981, request, requested by Sports Guy 528. Stick around for that. <laughs>